Rachel? In the bathroom. What do you think? Nice. Grab the camera. Okay. You ready? Let's start in the living room. Fine. How do I look? <laughs> Give me a minute. This is Rachel Sims reporting from my apartment where Randall Bowers, the infamous serial killer, lived at the time of his death. As many of you know from my previous reports, Randall's spirit haunts those who live here. I came home from class at four o'clock today, got a drink, then went to the bathroom downstairs. You won't believe what I found. Randall appears to be getting angrier with us. We never really felt like we were in danger before. But after this, I don't know how I'll be able to sleep tonight. He wants us to back off so that our viewers don't know about the horrible things he did here. But rest assured, Kelly and I will continue to report on this bloodthirsty killer and the horrendous crimes he committed. Kelly and I have also uncovered some disturbing facts about the murders. Perhaps that's why Randall is suddenly upset with us. We discovered this knife underneath a loose floorboard. It's likely to be the knife Randall used to kill his victims. Several of them murdered right in this apartment. After further research, the nurse was killed right here. If you look closely, you can see a very faint blood stain. We were able to pinpoint another murder location, according to our contact we have at the local police department. The teacher drowned in this very tub. I can't tell you how eerie it feels to bathe in it, knowing what happened. This is my bedroom, where Randall was shot seven times by the local police department. His reign of terror ended here. We discovered something interesting about Randall. He was completely sane until he moved into this house. Randall claimed that a demon spoke to him, begging him to commit horrendous acts. He finally gave in. In fact, Randall's last words to the police were a plea to burn down the house so that the demon couldn't haunt anyone else. We stay here only to keep our loyal viewers informed at great risk to ourselves. <laughs> it's gonna be a good one. Doing this vlog was such a good idea. Thanks. I came up with it. Whatever.
What if Randall really was possessed? Are you serious? He was a fruitcake. But how can we know? <laughs> because there are no such things as demons and possession. I thought you were smart. What about the victims? I don't know if we should keep making light about what happened to them. So, after weeks of doing the vlog, you suddenly develop a conscience? Nice, Kelly. Our viewers don't give a rat's ass about the victims. They want to be entertained. And I intend to keep giving the fans what they want. Four different guys who follow the vlog asked me out over the weekend. You can't buy that kind of attention. Forty-nine views so far, and counting. <laughs> the cold shoulder, huh? That's okay. I'm the queen of ice. What was all that noise? Maybe someone's at the door. see anyone. Maybe it was the water heater. And it suddenly turned off when we left our rooms? It's nothing to worry about. I need my beauty sleep. Beauty isn't just on the outside, you know. Give me a heart attack. It's not cold in this room. No, it's not. Now go back to bed. No, something woke me up. My room was freezing and my door was closed. Maybe there was an open window. It's winter. We haven't had an open window in months. Well, maybe the furnace was out. Then why was it only cold in my room? I think you've been spending a little bit too much time working on ghost stories. What if Randall really was oh, possessed? Oh, crying out loud, Kelly. We've lived here how many months? 
there aren't real ghosts. Here or anywhere else. Now go back to bed. He died in my bedroom. Big freaking deal. Can I sleep here? No. Oh. No! Great. Rachel? The bulb blew. They only do that when you turn them on or off. Hi, this is Kelly Patterson, your host of Haunted Happenings. My adoring roommate had to leave suddenly, so I'm starting a search for a new roomie and co-host. Send me your videos telling me why you'd be perfect for the position, male or female. I'm just trying to find someone willing to put their heart and soul into the work.